quick update on fiber to the home service that I have in my house. So basically fiber to the home is where the broadband comes down a fiber optic cable and the fiber optic cable goes directly inside the premises hence the name fiber to the home. So I install it on a daily basis for customers residential and business and the first question I, uh, I get asked is is this reliable does it drop in the evenings and what's the speeds like so depending on what speed you can you ordered and making up this video uh, most providers give three speeds the baseline which is 150 then there's 500 and then there's gig gigabit which is a thousand so I opted for 150 and I've had that for three years which is more than enough for what I use the broadband for so I was just doing a quick speed test and like I say I have the service in nearly three years now and to be honest with you not big up the internet provider I'm with it hasn't skipped a heartbeat it has been very 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 accurate regarding speeds I've never came home and had a big decrease in speeds it's always been over 120 to 144 which is brilliant service and it's never gone down there's no congestion it doesn't matter how many devices I have on the network it doesn't slow down now I would roughly have at any given time two phones and a laptop on the network all wireless and at its peak I could have two phones a laptop two Apple TVs and maybe an iPad that would be the most of it actually sorry I'm lying I have a uh, two two Apple TVs and two iPads and all of them working no problem no buffing buffer no loading up no crashing no nothing so just wanted to do a quick speed test just to prove what sort of speeds I'm getting it's now 10 o'clock peak time in the evening so let's open up speed test so in Safari I just use speedtest.net and I've preloaded up the web page just to save a bit of time hit go scroll down a wee bit so the ping has always been 4 or 5 So as you can see, well over 127 megs. Download and then the upload has always been over about 27, 28. I'm obviously on the 5G frequency on the modem. I'm currently using Air F3000. So just to double check, that's the 5G. That's my 2.4. So what I'll do is I'll actually go into the app just to prove it wasn't the one trick pony. Hit connecting. Four megabytes of a ping. And as you can see guys faster. So in this result I'm getting 130 megabytes and about 28 to 29 upload and like I said that's been constant since day one for that speeds I just X out of that what I'm gonna do is a quick speed test in 2.4 gigahertz frequency so I'm currently using my MacBook Pro, as you can see, quite an old laptop, nothing too fancy. And we will go. Now, to be honest, with the 2.4 gigahertz frequency I didn't expect the speeds to be that high I was expecting 70 to 80 I was not expecting 110 megabytes 
on the 2.4 gigahertz. Now, I am roughly about 10 feet away from my modem in the same room and there's nothing blocking the frequency. So guys, I just wanted to show the answer to the question. Is this reliable? Is it useful? Well, the answers are right there, guys. Simple as, thank you.